on your bench press, your dumbbell bench press here, what you want to do, so see how I got, what you want to do, I didn't see you kick back, um, but what I found the best, bring the weights all the way up here, close to your body, okay, and literally all the way up here on my hips, close as you can to your body, when you kick back, push it back with your legs, and then bring it on up with your arms, okay, let me show you that in regular speed, are you ready? And then you want to go ahead and push it up and then set your hands and set your feet in motion, okay? And now when you are pressing back again, um, you don't want to stay flat chested on the bench. I, I couldn't tell if you were doing this or not, but you don't want to just say like you lay down in the bed. You don't want to lay straight down. You want to come up, bring your chest up. You can slide your hand right here under my lower back. See that? So chest up, okay? That's a good healthy posture for the shoulders. So again, up, push back, chest up right here. My chest is poking up here. Okay, press up. Now I come in position, I get my chest up even more. Okay, now what you were kind of doing, you were coming out here with the weight, okay? See that angle of my arm? It's too, it's too out. You wanna come, everything else is good, but resist down, you wanna come at this angle here, more like a 45. See this angle of my body here? The angle of my elbow compared to my body? That's the angle I'm talking about. So here, Back up. Here. See the angle more? You are coming a little bit more here. Don't want to do that. It's going to hurt your shoulder in time. Very unhealthy for your shoulder. So here, this angle. Not here now. Ain't, I'm not talking about coming straight low. But here. Kind of in the middle. It's like a 45 degree angle. And then press back up. Squeeze your chest. Resist on the way down. Back up. So if you fix that, man, everything else look good. 